Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. New York Fashion Week is over and we have a selection of the top Fashion Week New York Spring Summer 23 bags as per fashionista.com. Now we're gonna, I made a little selection over their selection and then we're gonna share that together and see what is the trend according to New York Fashion Week for bags coming out in Spring Summer 23. Oh. The fun times in life. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together for extra perks like special live streams. A huge back catalog of videos with special topics that cannot be shown on YouTube. You get access to all of that and more. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged this video. It's being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you are all invited to partake in the chats. Let me cue in my co-chatters. You guys, we're going to go into Fashionista selection. They have made over 30 selection of bags. I narrowed it down to about 20. So let's get through it now. As I show you the bags, I'm going to tell you what the brand is. If I have something quick to say about it, I'll say about it. I'll say something about it. But I want to know in the comment section down below if you're into these bags or not. And for my live chatters, we can play the game now while we're doing this live. You can just let me know as the bags are popping up. You know, I could pop, okay, here's the next bag. And then you can just type in yes or no. Yes, if you like it, no, if you don't like it. So that was, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me show you the first bag. Okay, so the first one is by Altuzara or Altuzara Spring 2023. It's giving a little Balenciaga vibes. <laughs> it's a no. Oh, Jesus says yes. I purple nachos says no. Okay. So this one is like, Madame says yes. Monarch says no. Of course, Madame would say. <laughs> right? <laughs> Aisha says I like it. I see more no's than yeses. Well, spring, summer 23. Metallics are in. What can I tell you? Moving on to the next one. Now, the next one is also Altuzara or Altuzara, spring 2023. I wanted to showcase this batik slash tie-dye effect. Matchy-matchy is the word du jour. We've seen it with different brands doing like same earrings as clothes. Now we got the same outfit as the bag, as the little tiny bag. But what is more interesting about this is the oversized bag in combination with the tiny bag. That's a tendency or a trend that I've been seeing happening already for a while now where we have a combination of different size bag like the same bag and small and enlarged like could you imagine like the chanel 255 in the maxi and the 255 in the mini and you wear both at the same time it did happen to me <laughs> so i mean i'm not a stranger to this type of vibe i actually do it all the time i usually carried like two bags with me usually so the fact that she's carrying two bags is not new to me. The style of the bag and the color of the bag and the pattern of the bag, that's, you know, debatable. I was looking at the bag in her hand, says I purple nachos. Hey, everyone. So, hi, Raquel. So big bags are back. Yes. Yes, Tina, big bags are back. Oh, Jesus says yes and no. Well, I, I kind of, I dig this. I kind of dig this. And I also like the pattern. So anyway, that's just me. Uh, Aisha says, I like the color. Me too. Next photo. Next bag. Same designer. Um, this one is also Altuzara or Altuzara or Altuzara. Altu Spring, summer 2023. Again, two bags. Two bags uh, bought separately. One has the purp one is the smaller purple one. Then we got that little tie-dye batik moment over there. This could be printed leather, could be a printed canvas. No, no, no. Okay, yes, says Gloria. Aisha says, nice. I don't mind this, you guys. Especially, I, I like both of them. I, I don't mind. I, oh, love it, says Aisha. Tina says, no. I like the little, the, the handle that's been kind of, I, I guess, woven. I can't really see very well what they did there, but I think are cute. Better so far than the others, says I purple nachos. AAPQ2 says, no. <laughs> the two handbags at once is interesting. Caroline says, if it was actually one bag, I would like it. Kev says, I see shades of old Bottega in there. 
too small, says Tina. All right, let me show you the next one. Coach, you guys. We got a coach bag from spring 2023. This is by that chin. I would say it's a guy. And especially the Adam's apple because that Adam's apple is about to perforate his skin uh, or their skin. We don't know. But so I don't know if the model is male or female, but um, the bag is a patchwork. Now I've seen on the same runway, uh, just a monotone, monotonous brown version as well. Just one piece, you know, just one brown piece of leather. But I chose this one for our selection here because I thought it's a little bit more whimsical. It's still, it's oversized. It's a boho, boho, hobo, boho, hobo bag. And it has a patchwork. No, look, student. Yes, says Lily. Wow, nice, says Tina. Raquel says, what the hell is that? Oh, she says, no. I don't hate it, says Kev. I don't hate it either. Now, don't forget, they also have the plain, just one leather, one color, like tan leather version of this bag as well. I just thought it's kind of interesting to have like a jacket matching the the bag. This is the tendency we've been seeing this next upcoming season. The clothing matching the bag, even like in some cases, the same material used for the clothing is also used for the bag. So that's kind of a, a big trend coming next season. Gives me friends vibes, says Michael G. Let me show you the next one. Okay, so another tendency that's, uh, another trend that's happening, at least with Coach, this is a Coach bag, it's the jelly, plastic jelly bags. They have different versions of them. This one is kind of like a clutch. You can see around her wrist is the actual strap. So she put the strap around her wrist and is holding the strap at the end, and then the bag is attached to the strap. This is a jelly bag in glitter. The glitter jelly. Now they also have non glitter versions of them, not translucent ones. They also have like mattified versions. But the jelly bag is back, you guys. So fun, says Blue Bannisters. Tina says again. <laughs> Aisha says yes. Caroline says nay. Andrea says no. Dorcia says no. I love it, says Shikma. Give me glitter, says Shikma. I like the glitter too. Not so sure if I like this kind of like yellow version of the glitter. But if it were pink glitter, maybe. But, you know, they're probably going to make like a plethora of colorways of this one. So it's also going to be available in pink. Her, I thought that was a bulge. Maybe it's a he. Well, if that's a bulge, that, I don't know. That doesn't look like a bulge. But, but I, then I saw the muscle on the leg above the knee. It's kind of, the thigh is giving. So maybe it is a guy. I don't know. Ah, who knows? Any? It's 2022, you guys. Could be anything. So anyway. All right. Oh, wait. I see it here on my... Oh, yeah. The, it, it has uh, it has hairs. Yeah, it's a guy. Very hairy, actually. Just shaved. Well, my bad. I guess that was a bulge after all. <laughs> Next bag. Okay, so now this one is uh, Colina Strada. Colina Strada, Spring Summer 2023. Do you see again the repeating pattern? I know that the material is slightly different from the shirt as opposed to the bag, but the colorways is the same. It wouldn't surprise me if the actual cut version of that um, technique used to make this bag was made out of the leftover materials of the shirt. And then once you kind of cut it that way, it turns into that effect but so this is yeah this is what it is this is a no for me <laughs> too much going on no right all right yeah yeah i mean you can keep that clean easily i don't think this i don't think you see dirt i don't think it's easy to see dirt on this bag hmm. little house on the prairie <laughs> love it all right next one okay now this is another one of those tendencies, trends. So this is also Colina Strada, uh, also fall, uh, spring, summer 23. Technically, it's not a bag. I get it, you guys. But before you guys go all cuckoo, like, what the hell, what the hell? Seems like several brands have been doing this. Uh, New York Fashion Week, spring, summer 23. Like, adding cords or straps or leather holders to wine glasses or champagne glasses. 
and turning them into like a bag, almost like here, you can carry your own drink with you on the go. Terrible idea, because the second you start swinging, all the, the drink is just going to fly out. But nevertheless, several brands have went with this look. So Colina Strada is serving the glass bag. <laughs> Terrible. But this looks like a um, macrame planter holder. That's safe to wear, says Aisha. Not. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Rehab now <laughs> says Madame. Andy says no. Well, let me show you the next one. Okay, so this is another brand. Um, this is Dauphinette. Dauphinette Spring Summer 23. Honestly, you guys, I don't know if this is an actual croissant uh, that they put on top of a miniature bag and the croissant is a real croissant that's going to fall apart sooner or later, or if this is a plastic version, an imitation of a croissant with a bag hiding uh, inside. We do not know. However, Dauphinette Spring Summer 23. Let me show you the next one. It's a no for everyone, right? Here's the baguette version of it. Uh, Fendi, this baguette is coming for ya. <laughs> Remember when we reviewed the Fendi fashion show and I said, baguette out of here. Well, this baguette baguette out of there. And uh, it's definitely serving Fendi a run for its money. Always in the mood for baked goods, says Kev. Remember, and just like that, season finale, uh, Carrie, you know, throwing the ashes, spoiler alert, <laughs> throwing the ashes of big into the Seine or somewhere in Paris, and she's wearing that dress that looked like a croissant. Well, now we got the croissant bag to go with that purse better than the Eiffel Tower with the ashes, and you got the baguette version. Madame says, Sarah Jessica Parker would wear it. Oh, there you go. You see? There you go. Raquel says, oh my goodness, this is getting ridiculous, right? Well, this is Dauphinette. Spring, summer 2023 from New York Fashion Week, baby. All right, let me show you the next. So this is, I guess, a no for most. Croissant dress with a baguette bag, right? Now, <clears throat> this is Dion. Dion Lee or Diane Lee or Dion Lee. Spring 2023. <coughs> Pardon me. This is the Monstera plant. One of my favorite plants, by the way, which is usually green. Well, usually. It is green. If it's alive, it's green. <laughs> if it dies, it turns brown. But Anyway, this is a leather version of it in navy blue, navy black. Everybody says no to this. Oh, goodness, these companies seriously find any way to make a dollar. Why? <laughs> I'm saving a lot of money next spring, says Andy. Nay, says Jesus. No, but I appreciate it if I saw something with it. Hmm. Tina says different. I see. So this is kind of, we're not completely no. By the way, the actual part of the bag that you can utilize is only in the small portion interior of the leaf because, as you can see, as the leaf is spreading out, those are cuts and holes there. So the bag isn't as big as the actual leaf is. I feel I'm getting spanked just looking at it, says Caroline. Oh, Caroline, naughty minx, you. Let me show you the next one. Swim foot, says AAPQ. No, but I like the heels. The hell's on the, sh the heels. Well. So this is the same brand. Again, we got D Dion Lee or Diane Lee and a little bit more maybe a simpler bag, maybe because it doesn't show us flora and fauna. My dogs would think it's a toy, says Andy. Yuck, says Aisha. Uh, so this thing has like a kind of a little round chain going all around the bag. And then the bag is kind of like laying almost like a swing on the thing. It does give me swing vibes. It does also give me latex vibes. I don't know if that black thing is leather or silicone or latex. This one, yes, for the pickpocketers, says Madame. Caroline says no. Monarch says no. Tina says wish it was bigger. Maybe they have a bigger version of this as well. But yeah, it's a no for me too. It doesn't seem like it's something you can easily close. I don't like the chain going all around, says Raquel. The next one. Kate Spade, you guys. Kate Spade, New York, spring, summer 2023. As you can see here, we have, for those of you who can see, I'm zooming in, floral. A bunch of flowers attached to a, a shopper, basically, is what it is. A bunch of flowers, either leather or fabric flowers or something, or pleather, attached to the bag. It's a little teeny tiny shopper. Cute. But no, says Gloria. Oh, God, no, says Blue Bannisters. Karen says no. Andrea says no. Ava says no. Yon says Yetta. 
or Jed Above Clouds. <laughs> I love it. I love how I read your name as Yeda. The nanny. From the nanny. Okay, next, pizza. The color palette is nice, says Raquel. Also, Kate Spade, serving up a little bit Chanel vibes. Puffy bags, a puffy clutch. Who would have thought that a puffer clutch would still be in? Well, apparently, uh, Kate Spade is delivering next summer the puffy clutch. I mean, we've seen the, the puffer bags like since before the pandemic even. I rem remember the Lulu puffer, YSL's Lulu puffer. It was already a thing back in 2018, 19. Chanel's 19 bag for 2019 as well. So, but Kate Spade is delivering a puffer. Only if it was on Claire's, says Madame. No, says Caroline. Gloria says no. Jacket, kind of cute, says Kev. Yeah, it's giving us Chanel vibes. Major Chanel vibes. But not major Chanel money, because it's not going to cost as much. Not in white, no, says Tina. I think this is kind of like a baby blue. But what you're not seeing, yeah, it's, it's a baby blue, you guys. It's not white. But what you're not seeing is another bag attached right there. Like a little metal, almost looks like lips. Little tiny clutch type of thing, metal. So she's also doing the two bag trend. You know, back to the future, says Jet Above Clouds. So next one. It's kind of a no for many, right? Here, as I was telling you before, we have this tendency of doing the drinks, having uh, bottles, uh, having glasses with their own leather strap to carry them. This is Luar or Lure Spring 2023. L U A R is the brand, and this is the little leather or pleather attachment to your wine glass. Again, <laughs> you're going to be swinging that shit around in the water. And the drink be falling out. It be falling out. Coco Coco Cyber Coco says no. Looks like a jock strap, says Jet Above Clouds. No ridiculous, no real bags, just wine glass holder. Well, it's a bag. Let. <laughs> drink your bags, says Lee Bombi. Dota says no. Alright, well, it's a gimmicky moment. I just found it really fascinating that several brands are pushing this agenda of the glass. Carrying your own glass with you as if it is as if it were your own bag with your own guzzle in it. Really strange because I mean obviously you know, in most American states you can't even walk around and guzzle on the street. You got to put it in a paper bag. So technically you could put water in there, <laughs> not more. But anyway, moving on to the next one. This used to be a weapon. Oh, to be used as a weapon, says Madame. So. Okay, so here we have Luar, again, L-U-A-R, Spring 2023. I'm zooming into the bag. We have two different types of leathers or pleathers. It looks like it's pony hair, the main body of the bag. It's, 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 it's furry. It looks like pony hair. And the handle is a, a, a kind of like a, a more glossy type of leather, like a shiny leather. And then the Luar logo is right down there at the bottom of the of the handle. Nope, says Andy. I like this one, says Raquel. AAPQ2 says no. I like the color, says Cyber Coco. They make these in a bunch of different colorways. Finally, a design, says Jet Above Clouds. Bible says Miranda could have used the glass bag in season one of them, just like that. Also, I thought this is a typical Miranda type of bag. I think Miranda would wear something like this, maybe in a different color. So... Lily Bobby says, maybe it's a travel toilet. Madame says, toilet seat realness, no. Oh, it does look like a toilet seat, doesn't it? My viewers, always minds in the gutter, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Moving on to the next one. <laughs> You're my people. There. Here we, get, we have again the Luar for 2023 spring summer. I think this is not real snake. I think it's kind of embossed, but maybe it is real snake. But anyway, I don't think it's reptile. How about, maybe it's even pleather, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. But the fact is, it's kind of more of a saggy, droopy version of the bag we've seen before. I don't mind this, even though you guys say it's giving you toilet realness. Monarch says no. Sepulchre says, oh my God, now I can't see it without being, uh, without it being a toilet seat. YSL Ikara copy says Jet Above Clouds. Real snake from the 
from the Suwas says, Jesus, it looks poorly made, says Blue Bannisters. Tina says, yes. Well, it's kind of a saggy, droopy bag. I do believe that it's kind of folded inwards on the sides. But hey, I, I like the toilet seat handle. Was I like if the toilet seat handle was smaller. All right. Next one. Uh, well, uh, you know, there you go. Now we have Puppets and Puppets. The brand is Puppets and Puppets. Spring, summer, 2023. Puppets and Puppets are offering us a tote with uh, an egg attached to it. Look at that. Lily Bonfi says, hmm. Emotion Engine says, I love and I usually hate hobos. This was referring to the bag before the Loire. Jesus says, Comme des garçons tote ripoff. Brittany says, guys, guys. No, just no. <laughs> Brittany. Gloria's laughing. Aisha says, you. Monarch says, no. You don't like your egglets? No eggs on the baglets? I thought it's kind of... I mean, sure. I Like, I get it. It's like a Moschino thing, but Moschino would have been a little bit more whimsical. The bag would have had the shape of a pan, maybe, for the egg. I don't know. Well, anyway, so I guess it's it's fun, says emotion, right? Yeah. Oof. Yes, jet above clouds. The French, oof. If they lift their arms, is there bacon? There might just be. There might just be. Well, next one. If you don't like the egg version, you can get the cookie version. Also, puppets and puppets. Puppets and puppets. Spring, summer, 2023. Little munchkin baguettelet with a cookie on it. They have them in different sizes, different colorways. I even saw one where the cookie had the chocolate chips were glittery. And the chocolate chips, like, also, there was one where the chocolate chips were, like, blue instead of chocolate chips. So, but this is also Puppets and Puppets. I, I, yeah, I don't mind this one. Nobody likes it for Cookie Monster. Yeah, just how thirsty and hungry are we, says Kev. No, please, says Tina. No, says Monarch. Aisha is like, why? Brittany Bryan says, where are we wearing this to? Hello, Cyber Coco. No, Blue Bunny says, oh my God. Ah! <laughs> I love how the chat is like, <laughs> it's so dramatic. For my one-year-old niece, says Andy. It's giving Claire's accessory bags as blue. Uh, New Yorkers must be hungry. All this food. Emotion engine. Claire Athena says, Oh my god, wait for ET. Cha, ET, phone home. But cookie kind of cute. I don't know. The Bible says designers must have been hungry and thirsty when they were brainstorming about these bags. Next time, feed them all first. Cookie Monster would love this, is Raquel. Uh, uh, is this it or do we have one more? Let me see. Oh, it does go on. So here I also wanted to include something that's a little bit maybe more wearable for summer. So this is Ola Johnson. Ola or Ala Johnson, spring, summer 2023. It's not a raffia. I do believe that this is kind of a cotton, a woven bag with leather on the sides. It's just to showcase and highlight the fact that the hobo bags, the bigger bags are still back next summer, not just this summer. It's kind of cute. Is it boring? Yes. A lot of brands that are even much cheaper than this are going to have this. You know, like Mango is probably going to have this. Zara is probably going to have this as well. But Monarch says no. Yes, looking very organic. Body hugging, says Madame. Uh, Gentleman Claus, oh gee. Looks like something picked up on a cruise on the Car Caribbean. Well, uh, Ula Johnson has several more bags. Let me show you. It's cute. Holiday bag, says Cyber Coco. Here's another one. Also from Ola Johnson, spring, summer 2023, little leather moment. I thought it was kind of cute to showcase, first of all, because I have a lot of friends who love purple, but also, also because I kind of like the pebbles. I like this vibe of like saying what we find on the beach, we utilize to create a handle. And I'm kind of living for this moment, like I'm envisioning these bags that have pebbles found on the beach turned into a handle. And this is what is kind of happening over there, except the handle is kind of just laying on the side. I don't know if those pebbles are like plastic things that were built, to, or if it was really, you know, organic material found on the beach. But I I would like if it were organic material found on the beach, pebbles to create a handle of a bag. I like the organic roundness of it and that they kind of develop different panels of leather that they've, you know, sewn together to create this it's like thought went into it, right? 
I love this one. Yes, 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 says Brittany. Cyber Coco, the color is nice. Debbie says, oh, I came back to pretty bag. <laughs> That's cute, says Blue Bandit says, Hermes-esque, says Jesus. It, yeah, maybe it has a little bit of an Hermes vibe going on, except Hermes would never do the pebbles thing, I, I believe, for them. For them, that would be too messy because they're so anally precise and symmetric. And even if it's asymmetric, everything is very architectural and dead without emotion. This is way more emotional than Hermes. Uh, no, just don't feel it says Gloria. Well, let me show you the next one, if there is a next one. Okay, here you go. This is a much more structured one, also with much more pronounced visible pebbles uh, for the for the handle, and then you got the strap. And this one has almost like um it looks like a cactus, maybe. It's Ola Johnson Spring Summer 2023 red leather. I believe it's leather at least. Little teeny tiny leather strap. I believe it's leather and then you got the pebbles i like the stones madame uh, debbie says madame says yes the pebbles would be too creative for hermes's blue banisters i agree with you gloria says okay this one i i just i like just not the pebbles oh poor pebbles uh jesus says not filling it monarch says no emotion engine yes very cactus or star fruit yes yeah, star fruit could be a star fruit no to the tomato says aisha cyber coco it's interesting i wouldn't wear it but I appreciate it. <laughs> Boy, we're getting so politically correct here. Tina says, I, it would look nice on my mantle. You know, like a little object, a little leather object. Yeah. Minus the pebbles. I think this one is even more Hermes than the one before that. But anyway, so this was Ola or Ola Johnson, Spring Summer 2023. Next one, I think that's it, you guys. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed our little rendezvous uh for spring summer 23 i know we're just heading towards winter now but hey it'll be sprunger before it will sprunger it will be sprunger i said wanted to say winter and summer at the same time it'll be summer before you know it and it's always good to know what the trends are before they happen now would i buy any one of these bags? no probably not but then again that's just me kev says could be a pumpkin just says the bags were not giving tina says thank you well guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below until next time, never forget to never give up on love and subscribe.